welcome my guest for today is already seated here and we will be discussing spirituality versus religion okay spirituality versus religion so within these few minutes we'll be finding out what spirituality is what religion is and why we should be spiritual and not religious welcome sir thank you good evening Fine evening. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. All right, all right. <laughs> Today we're, we're, we're talking about spirituality and religion. Now, when we talk about spirituality, what do we mean by spirituality, sir? Good. Actually, the word spirit mm -hmm. appears in spirituality. Okay. So what it means is that uh, when we get to realize we are spirits, mm -hmm. then we are actually in that realization mm -hmm. we are actually um, in spirituality all right so before we started you told me that man is a spirit so dr bafo is a spirit right yes all right yes. so let me allow you to introduce yourself before you delve because i want to enter into that realm with you and find out why man is a spirit so let me find out what you do your your full name and um, what you do first of all yes i'm um, dr bafo jan Okay. Um, I'm a health consultant. Okay. And a spiritual counselor. Okay. I'm also a motivational speaker. Okay. Mm, there are other things. Other things that you, <laughs> <laughs> you get to do. So, why is man a spirit? Because I'm interested in that. Before we move on to spirituality, why and how come man is a spirit? Because I can see you and you can see me and all that. So, how come I am a spirit? Good. Yeah. The truth is that um, there is something about man which goes beyond what our five senses tell us. We have the sense of sight, mm -hmm. hearing, tasting, feeling, smelling, and uh, these things give us information. Okay. See, they are tools. They give us information. But when the tool is giving you information, there is the word you. And the tool is giving you information. So who are you? You see? So uh, all the information is not you. Mm -hmm. And the thing giving you the information is not you. So you are the spirit. Okay. So whenever we say spirit, we mean the real you. And uh, we are here in a zone uh, where the everything is energy. Okay. And you as a spirit, you are also energy. But it's of it's energy of a different kind, very high frequency. And um, where we are, the things we are seeing, they are low frequency things. And in fact, they are projections from the spirit. Okay. You see? So, and the spirit is part of the greater spirit that we call God. So we are portions of God pass of God mm -hmm. and we need to have that perfection of God manifest in this zone and it glorifies him because we, we resemble him and it uh, we should express that perfection okay yeah. all right so we resemble him and we should express that perfection That's okay right. so how can man be spiritual in a physical world very good i'll give this analogy say the example that will help you mm -hmm. is that of gold mm -hmm. when you see a bulk of gold somewhere Mm -hmm. in the earth mm -hmm. we have a lot of gold mm -hmm. and uh, it may be very pure gold then aside from that we have what we call gold dust okay the gold dust 
certain portions of the pure gold have mixed mm -hmm. with dust mm -hmm. and we call it gold dust mm -hmm. so if we want to know um, the part of the gold dust which is the original gold then we have to go through a process to sort of purify mm -hmm. the gold dust so that we get the gold. So the process mm -hmm. that leads us to getting the pure gold mm -hmm. must uh, be gone through. Okay. And that takes us back to our originality. Okay. So when we say human being, it is just like saying gold dust. It's two things. Two things, okay. There is human mm -hmm. and there is being. Being is spirit. Being is God. Mm -hmm. Being is real. Is the original. That's the meaning of being. Yes, because uh, it is eternally what it is. Mm -hmm. the becoming human it's actually mixing the being mm -hmm. with low frequency energies. Mm -hmm. And then we have what we call human being. So it's just like gold dust. Therefore, we need to go through a process so that the being aspect, which is the spirit, must be manifest. And this is what the great ones like the Lord Jesus Christ he said it mm -hmm. be ye perfect even as the father is mm -hmm. that means you are of the same make as the father you see but you've been mixed with the low frequency but let that uh, perfection come up that was his mission because he was manifesting the perfection mm -hmm. and he wants everyone to awaken to that truth mm -hmm. and when it can be understood then we are set free mm -hmm. because that knowledge sets you free from the entanglement with the lower frequency you get out of that bondage mm -hmm. and that is the essence but that message has been watered down. It's sort of misunderstood. Um, if the message had been understood, the world would have been uh, very different as we see it right now. Mm -hmm. So spirituality has a lot to do with realizing your true identity. Okay. Spirituality has to do with realizing your true identity. That's now, right. after you get to identify yourself that I am in the image of God, because yeah. that's what you're trying to say, yeah. um, that I come from God. Now, how do you know how to fulfill your purpose as a result of your identity right here on earth? Very good. When you come to the realization mm -hmm. that you are spirit, Mm -hmm. From there you are empowered, you are set free from bondage, mm -hmm. bondage to the inferior energy, mm -hmm. the lower frequency. Mm -hmm. And because of that, uh, because of the empowerment that comes to you, mm -hmm. uh, that empowerment uh, being an attribute mm -hmm. of the pure spirit, mm -hmm. um, from that point you have uh, the deep knowledge and understanding mm -hmm. about the whole drama mm -hmm. of life and for that matter mm -hmm. what you are here to do you know it mm -hmm. when you are entangled in the uh, inferior energy uh, the lower frequency then you don't know what is what because you're confused okay but when you get out of it there's no more confusion Okay. Yes. There, everything is expanded fully. 
Okay, so peace is fully expanded and therefore it has no opposite. Mm -hmm. Love is fully expanded, mm -hmm. it has no opposite. Mm -hmm. Joy is fully expanded, it has no opposite. Mm -hmm. But when you come into the zone of, mm -hmm. uh, of the low frequency, mm -hmm. then things are no more complete mm -hmm. because they are mixed with a low frequency mm -hmm. and uh, it brings about things and their opposites. So if there is peace, there will be the opposite of peace. Mm -hmm. When there is love, there will be the opposite of love. Mm -hmm. And that is all in the uh, zone mm -hmm. of inferior, or zone of low frequency. Mm -hmm. So the topic of destiny, when you come out first, mm -hmm. that is why I say seek first the kingdom. So when you come out first, then you see everything clear. And you know what to do, what you are here to do. Okay. When you mix with it, you don't know. You are confused. Okay. So uh, that is it. Okay. Yeah. So is Christianity a religion or a, is it a spiritual life? <laughs> it is supposed to be a spiritual life. The teacher um, hasn't been fully understood. The teacher wasn't fully understood. And even now, mm -hmm. he's not well understood. Mm -hmm. His mission, principally, was uh, to lead people to uh, realizing that they are spirits. Mm -hmm. and that empowers them. That makes them um, in quality mm -hmm. the same as God. Okay. In quality as the same as God. Okay. You see, and that realization was his message. But he also knew, I used to say this, you see, if you are a professor in, in school, and uh, it happens that uh, mm -hmm. you have your children mm -hmm. in the house, and you want to teach them, you definitely have nothing other than A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. You see, so uh, he came for the uh, lifestyle that will lead us to spirituality, that will lead us to realizing we are spirits. But that message, he had to uh, break it down, and he was so proverbial, uh, people never understood very much. Mm -hmm. And up to date, a lot don't understand his mission. Okay. He said, know ye not that ye are gods. Mm. That means you are divine. But we don't pick the message. The message, okay. Yes. Um, he was telling everyone that if you really get the message well, you even do greater than I came to do. If you get the message well, well that is the message he brought he well, brought, you will do greater than I came to do. Amazing. He said it. You see, but the message has not been. You see, because uh, people don't pay their challenge. They just uh, go down and say, only you. Mm -hmm. But that is not the truth. That it only God. No, no, only you. Only you, the one giving us the message. Mm -hmm. So we can't come to stand where you stand. Mm -hmm. you, you, you understand it? But that is not what he meant. You see, so it's a tendency of uh, followers to just keep where they are and see the greatness. But the greatness is also in you. As a follower, he wants you to realize it and come to that point with him. Okay. And they never understood it. They think only he, he should mm -hmm. hold that situation. Mm -hmm. And everybody uh, keeps himself entangled in bondage 
to the uh, lower frequency. You see, he says you should be in this world, but not of, of this, this world. world. Okay. You see, not of this world. You see, the gold dust. When you take it through a process, then you get the gold, and then you get the dust. Now, when you get the gold, then the qualities of the gold have become manifest. It becomes uh, gritaline, mm -hmm. it becomes um, shiny, it becomes really uh, very nice. Mm -hmm. You see, so a process goes on mm -hmm. before you get the gold separated from the dust. Okay. Right after that, the gold can be brought close to the dust mm -hmm. or be placed on the earth, but then we still see it shining, but it's not mixed with the dust. And that is the position he wants us to have, not to uh, continue being mixed with the lower frequency. Okay. You see, once the gold has been separated, then the qualities of the bulk of gold uh, that is pure in the earth, the same qualities will be seen in that piece of gold. Same quality. Mm -hmm. Like you take a drop of water from the ocean, the same qualities of the ocean will be inside that drop. So your spirit is part of uh, the great spirit. That is what we call God. And it's pure. But then uh, we are in this zone mixed with the low frequency. And because of that, we are so confused. When you get out of it, there's no more confusion. You see uh, beyond uh, what the five senses are telling you. So uh, distance is nothing. Time is nothing. Mm -hmm. Spirit bridges all this out. You see? So uh, all the confusion we are having mm -hmm. is that of ego. Ego means false identity. Now, the gold has mixed with the dust. And now the gold is calling itself, I'm gold dust. I'm gold dust, yes, no, mm -hmm. in the sense that Yes, you are gold, but to say I'm gold dust <laughs> is false. It's false because now something has been done to it. Yes, mm -hmm. that is what is happening. And the more the bigger your ego, the more uh, problems you have okay. in this world. So it means the more bondage, the more you are in bondage. Mm -hmm. So this world, we always uh, feed our ego. Okay. I am this, mm -hmm. I am that. We are only feeding the ego. Mm -hmm. And the fatter your ego is, the bigger your problems. Mm -hmm. So if one can really come to the point where the ego has been shrunk, mm -hmm. the ego has been separated, and then you look at it from another angle, you are empowered. So if someone can tell the storm, go down and it will go down. And the storm goes down. The same thing is inside you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he won't tell you if you actually follow, you do greater. The same thing is inside you. Mm -hmm. But that is something uh, a lot of, when we talk of religion, um, it's polarized around belief systems and uh, the belief aspect and the social aspect. Then we have the practical aspect that changes the, uh, separates the gold from the dust. But the practical aspect is what Christ was referring to as a narrow way. Because, you see, the um, social aspect and all that goes on doesn't bring that 
kind of tra uh, transition or change from uh, gold dust to gold mm -hmm. and dust. It doesn't do it. The only thing people do which brings them closer to the separation mm -hmm. is their fasting. And people don't even know why they fast. They don't know why they fast? Yes. Um, okay. When uh, you fast, mm -hmm. what you are doing is the dust aspect of you slow it down and allow the spirit aspect of you to go up. Okay. So it is like a seesaw. When the, uh, the dust aspect of you is going down, mm -hmm. the spirit aspect of you is going up. Okay. When the spirit aspect of you is going down, it means the dust aspect of you is going up. Okay. And it forms a false identity over you. Mm -hmm. You see? So all this false identity everywhere. False identity yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And that is uh, the problem, the root of all problems. Okay. Yes. The root of all problems. The root of all problems is false identity. identity. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if uh, one goes through a process that brings down the false identity, then you get spiritual. And okay. you get empowered. Empowered. And you get peaceful. And you get loving. And you get joyful. How do you bring the false identity? You mentioned fasting. Fasting. We'll, we'll look at the nitty gritties of all these uh, because everyone has his interpretation of fasting. Some believe you eat from six to seven and then you start from seven to six. Some also have time ranges. Some also say if you're fasting, you abstain from this. You're, no, we'll, we'll look at all these. But what, what are some of the things that bring down very the good, false very identity? I, I, I love your question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank when you. I mention fasting, it's just. Uh, a, a, a chip of the, of the iceberg. iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> so fasting is not actually. No, we'll, no, no, no. We'll, we'll delve into it because we'll, we'll talk about the part where we'll focus uh, in our next edition. We'll focus a lot on religion. Yeah. Okay. So this is just the introductory yeah. uh, level. But what are some of the things that bring down the false identity apart from good, fasting? Good, good, a whole lot. Okay, a whole lot. But um, of course, uh, in a talk like this. We can't even talk on all, all the things. But even when I pick one topic like okay. fasting, as I mentioned, okay. there are as many as seven types seven of, types. Fasting. of fasting. Okay. Now, when you go through the process properly, it, sh it has to go along with knowledge. Mm -hmm. If I say knowledge, mm -hmm. um, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. When people, uh, let's say there is a disaster, mm -hmm. like war or flood mm -hmm. or something, and people become refugees, mm -hmm. and as they move away mm -hmm. in, uh, through the bush or somewhere, mm -hmm. sometimes they don't get food to eat. Mm -hmm. So if they don't eat for days, you cannot say they have become spiritual. Mm -hmm. There's a lack. Mm -hmm. the, the problem is, it's not just the body you are denying food. Mm -hmm. It means you, you are becoming spiritual. No. Mm -hmm. uh, the body is one aspect, and the mind is another aspect. Okay. The two are like uh, wings, or my right hand, my left hand. So both of them are needed to be transcended. The ego has a lot to do with uh, the body and the mind. Okay. So if uh, for days somebody uh, is not getting food to eat <laughs> and the mind mm -hmm. is uh, working so much, that means it's in stress, mm -hmm. it's in worry, like under pressure under and all pressure that. and so on. Uh, the ego continues to hold the person tight. So he's not separating the spirit from the, mm -hmm. uh, the low frequency. 
because um, when you are separating the spirit from the low frequency, the most important part is the mental side. The spirit um, actually interacts with the mind first, and the mind interacts with the body. So when we want to separate from the lower frequency, mm -hmm. the most important topic is the mind. The mind, OK. Yes. So if you fast the body and you don't fast the mind, then you don't advance. If you fast the body and you don't fast the mind, no advancement for you. We're still um, talking spirituality versus religion. And um, Dr. Bafo Jan is expounding on us. And he's spoken about energies and frequencies and how you can um, subject the flesh so that you can live a spiritual life. When we come back, um, or in our next edition, we will be delving into religion. Okay, we'll be talking religion and also we'll continue on uh, the fasting life. So fasting is one of the things to do in order to submit the body, submit the flesh, yeah. right? And um, it has to go with the mind, yeah. right? Yeah. Without the mind, if the mind is under pressure, if the mind is under stress, if the mind is uh, going through a lot of things, it cannot um, properly function now we, we will be um wrapping up but before we wrap up um in our next edition we'll get to talk about fasting a lot we'll get to continue but before we wrap up what's your final advice to those who are watching us concerning religion versus spirituality or spirituality versus religion what do you have to tell them sir yes my advice is that we can consider we can consider religion uh, just as a, a pointer to the truth. But a pointer to truth mm -hmm. is not the truth itself. Mm -hmm. When something is pointing to something, then we need to understand mm -hmm. that the pointer is not the truth itself. Okay. But the truth is being pointed to. Mm -hmm. So, Religion mm -hmm. is pointing to truth. Okay. But the truth it is pointing to is not external. We'll continue on that. It's within you. Okay. The truth is within you. We'll continue on that. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. All right. So, um, your number and your name, um, your number and how people can get to contact you. Yeah. My personal number, 0242-86. 0012. Okay, and uh, people can come in for spiritual counseling and all yes, that. Yes, right. for sure. All right, thank you so much, sir. You are welcome.